You've got to keep moving. You know, when you think about your leadership journey, it may have started, regardless of how long you've been in the business or even as a child, as you start to develop your belief system, it usually starts with a soundbite or two from somebody else. I call them leadership soundbites. You hear somebody you respect say something, and you say, you know, that makes sense. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try that. And then what happens, you actually have some experience. You apply it. And then all of a sudden, something really special happens. Based on your experience, that passion bubble takes off, and you get excited, and you really start driving conviction, and you know who you are, you know what you believe, and you move forward. And I know this room understands that. I know this room understands that the one true talent is perseverance. You keep moving. If you get knocked down, you get up. You figure it out. I think the most important E is exploration. We've got to be bold explorers. Whether it's the first day in the business or we're well on our way. We've got to be bold explorers. So the theme of this conference is transformation. And in the next 60 hours, there will be seeds of transformation and reinvention, plant, reinvention planted in some of our conferences and, and sessions that just resonate with you because of your unique circumstances. That's exciting. So remember, there's leadership sound bites, something that sounds good, something that makes sense, and then there's your unique experience where the passion and conviction is born. And then there's that bad case of the wants, wanting to get better every day, reinvent yourself, respond, find new ways to win. There's a fly fisherman in State College, Pennsylvania. His name is Joe Humphreys. He's 86 years young, according to him. And one of the things that strikes me about Mr. Humphreys is he will tell you he's learning every day. And one of his base principles is live the stream. Live the stream. So all that he does is built on that foundation of living the stream. And we've got a stream of our own in our world, and we've got to live it. You're our stream. At the RSPA, we've got to ask ourselves every day, what can we do for the members? We've got to live the stream. If you think of the RSPA, we, we can't change the temperature of the water. We can't change the flow of the current. We can't change the speed of the current. But we can put our waders on. We can get out in the water with you. And we've got an all-star staff that can help you. And I'm convinced that whatever the member profile, largest company in the world, or one that's just getting started, we've got a staff that can help you in some measure. And that's what we're about. So help is not on the way. Help is here. And it's in this room as a community. And it's at your, your headquarters staff. The real trick for us is to transform our liabilities into our top strengths. Old school is not always outdated. There are some tried and true fundamentals that apply today as much as they did yesterday, and I think that's particularly great news for this community. Let me give you a little update on the RSPA, because we're trying to become a better version of who we are every day. I just want to give you a little status report on some bread and butter numbers. Uh, we grew our membership 6% uh, this past fiscal year, and that was a nine-point swing, uh, because prior year we were down a bit. So we made a pretty good step forward, and we added 49 VAR members. And by the way, this fiscal year, in this first quarter, will end in just a couple of days. We've already added 22 VAR members, so we're off to a real good start. We feel like we're starting to to pick up the great momentum. We also have a very good renewal rate of 93%. We'd like to have a 100% renewal rate. We've got to earn that, though. We've got to earn it. 
but 93% is something we feel pretty good about as we continue to move forward. From a uh, profit standpoint, Mike Seymour and Hunter Allen and the board chartered us to put more of the dollars to use for our members, create more value, so the percentage of surplus as, as uh, aligned with revenue was 9%. They gave us a range of between 8 and 12%. We came in at 9.4%. So that's a good sign because we're putting the dollars to work for you and that's what we should be doing. That's what we're passionate about. That's what we are driven to do. That's why we've got the all-star staff that we have waiting to help you, waiting to put on those wader boots and get out in the water with you and help you with your casting, help you reading the stream and help you size up the opportunities and execute. Uh, from a cash standpoint, we grew our cash position $296,000. Now, we were $104,000 over our plan, year-end plan standpoint from a cash target. So we had a good year in terms of creating healthy cash and bringing healthy value to our members, and we continue to focus on our 3 plus 1 strategy I'll just touch on briefly. One number that's not on there that I think is really important is net promoter score. We had a net promoter score of 60, uh, which is a pretty good net promoter score. By most accounts, that would be considered world class. We want to get a bigger sampling and we want to move that north because the way you measure net promoter score is really the percentage of your promoters, promoters minus the percentage of your detra detractors. And we should have a 40, 50 percent sample of our members in order to really get a clear reading of where we stand. So. Uh, when you see that survey come out next time, participate. Tell us uh, how we can get better. It's only going to take you a couple of minutes, and uh, we read it, and it means a lot to us. Let me touch on the 3 plus 1 real quick. Uh, every business has to narrow the scope of their products and services. And we've embarked on being really good at 3 things plus 1 platform of services. So we want to be really good at putting out branded SMB content. You'll see some of that content in our booth that we recently released. Uh, Marie Perry and our team have been working on the target operating model. And uh, those that participated in it received the output first, but we'll have the target operating model in our booth to take a peek at it. And this, this really established new benchmarks in the VAR community based on what you told us. And there are certain things that apply to everybody. Everybody needs to know what the market opportunity is, Everybody needs to know that they've got the right capacity, whether they are a five-person shop or a 500-person shop, and everybody needs to control cash and get a good percentage of your customers paying you after the initial sale. So those are some of the things we measure as a baseline that apply to everybody, and then there's some deeper dives. So take a look at that target operating model. Secondly, we want to offer education in all forms. This is a good example of that. Yesterday we had uh, a couple hundred first-time attendees at our reception, first-time attendee reception. It was exciting. It was a vibrant environment. Uh, when we want to offer education in regionals, we want to offer distance learning. We even launched our first outsourced education for one of our vendors where we offered a complete sales process training as well as forecasting discipline and deployment model. So we're here to help. Another example of getting in the water uh, with you. And then there's the expanded social impact. And Kathy touched on the blessings in a backpack. Uh, I will tell you that there's going to be a thousand kids that have food over the weekend that they might not have had. And that's because of this community. And that's all I'll say about that. We're just getting started. We started building bikes in, in Sanibel. And uh, we're going to continue to make a difference as a community. And then the plus one got a little bigger today. Uh, you know about Bob Goldberg and the great service he's provided this community for over 30 years as our general counsel. Bob will be up speaking with you in just a minute or two. But uh, tremendous. Nathan Sweeney and the security services, that's that plus one platform. And now we've got group management services offering everything from payroll processing to full HR services, to uh, investment help, and of course health insurance. So uh, that's a big ad and we're looking forward to launching that. Alexa's already hit the ground running. 
and Lois Akeley's team at Innovative Office Solutions. Uh, we think there's some great opportunities for you for logo apparel, for office furniture, office supplies. Working with a women-owned company that is absolutely, in my view, first class and the kind of folks we want to align ourselves with. So the plus one just got bigger. Branded SMB content education in all forms, expanded social impact and a platform of services that make a difference for you. I'm going to make a statement here. If you look around this room, if you look around this room, you're probably looking at an organization represented or individuals that are going to, in some measure, reinvent retail. It's in this room right now. You're looking at folks that are going to reinvent retail. And we're going to help you. 